...based their stories over the years on children in need. And time and again, we felt humbled and privileged that they'd been prepared to share their most private pain with us in public. None more so than in this next film. Here's Dame Helen Mirren. I want to talk to you about a truly extraordinary place. It's called Rainbows, and it's a children's hospice. Like most hospices, it's almost entirely dependent on charitable donations. But you can't put a price on what the people who work there do. They offer hope at a time of no hope. They bring light to the saddest of times. We're truly grateful that places like this exist. We're also truly grateful to the family you're about to hear from. What they've been through is absolutely heartbreaking. They want to tell their story, to say thank you. We had Tom, a first child, uh, in 1994 in September. When Thomas was first born, he was demand feeding and not sleeping and all the sort of normal things that um, babies do. But sort of coming up to around five months, he wasn't doing all the developmental things that he should have been doing. There was an awful lot of hospital appointments and tests. It was then decided that he had cerebral palsy. When Thomas was four, there was a new addition to the family, Harry. Although I was nervous about having another baby, he did seem a lot, lot stronger. But when, when we started thinking there was something wrong with Harry as well, it was just heartbreaking. With the chances of both children having cerebral palsy being so slim, they were re-examined. Both Thomas and Harry were diagnosed with a very rare neurodegenerative disease. The illness was terminal. It was devastating news, but the family stayed strong. We went on holiday with them many times, did lots and lots of things, tried to be as normal a family as we could be. In 2004, Thomas died in hospital, aged 10 years old. We had to hope that Harry could understand that his brother had gone. That was very hard because um, he couldn't ask us any questions. And he'd look up outside towards the sky, wouldn't he? Because we told him that Tom had gone to heaven and we'd look up and... We realised that, yeah, we've got to just enjoy everything. We did as much as we could do with him. We had a really, really great time. As Harry's condition deteriorated, the family needed more support. This is when they came to Rainbow's Hospice. I thought maybe it might be a bit more like hospital, um, but it's anything but. Rainbow's provide respite and end-of-life care for children with life-limiting conditions. Thanks to your generosity, Children in need are able to fund a play specialist, Lindsay. It's not a place of sadness, it's not a, a place of gloom. It's, um, it's a place of happiness and fun and laughter. They have a lot of time to be together, to be a family. As any parent, all you want is what is the very best for your child. And I think you knew you was going to get that here. We trusted them and, never, and they never failed us. For Harry, there was no better place on earth. He's got his music therapy, he's got... The art room. Yeah, the play specialist. He's got nurses that, well... Doted on him. <laughs> Even right up to the last music therapy session, Harry could virtually not move any muscle or finger or anything in his body, but he just managed to tickle the, the chime bells with his, his little finger, didn't he? Yeah. It's just such a small thing, but it just sort of brings home how much that, that meant to him. Two days later, on the 17th of December, 2010, Harry died at Rainbows. He was 12 years old. <coughs> Something you never want to have to contemplate, but you could replay things over 100 times and you couldn't make it any more better for Harry than it was. We held a, a celebration of life service and um, a number of the, the Rainbow staff came along to that. And it was just lovely and just what you would expect from them. After you've lost a child, they're not afraid to show their emotion. You know that they feel it for you too.
With your help, children in need can support other children like Harry and the people that love them the most. Please call 03457 33223. Thank you.